everyone welcome back to my channel and here i am today with a long-awaited nail video it has been so long since i did my nails for y'all and honestly it's been a long time since i've done really long nails i usually kept them like pretty short and honestly at this point i don't have my nails on one hand mom life you know it's in business life i guess like it's just easier for me to wear one hand, you know. I still like to look pretty, but be functional. <laughs> anyway, so you saw me push and make my cuticles. I just use a cuticle softener because, who child, my cuticles need to be pushed back. Anyway, so I'm just going to, well, I zoomed through the beginning of this video. If you would like an in-depth video on how I prep my nails and apply my tips, you know, just let me know in the comments down below. And I can definitely make that for you guys. So I'm just sizing my tips and... I'm getting ready to do this so today we're going to be doing a simple glam nail look you know and guys like i'm completely self-taught i never went to school to do my nails now i don't do anybody else's nails but i definitely do my own and then during the time of the pandemic you know this is perfect you don't have to go to the nail salon because i don't leave my house at this point honestly unless to go to the grocery store and usually that's grocery pickup so you know, this is perfect for anybody who loves their nails and, you know, just can't go to the shop anymore. So I use the Mia Secret Nail Prep. I usually use something else, but I couldn't find it. So I'm using like a jumble of products. And I use the uh, Young Nails pH Bond. And, yeah, I just prepped my nails. And then I got into, you know, my <laughs> little dispenser thing is so dirty currently <laughs> like i really need to take everything off of it and clean it like i got like spilled powder on it like whew, it's a mess and i'm just going in and applying clear acrylic to my nails the acrylic i'm using is the clear from glam and glitz and also i'm using the glam and glitz monomer and i'm just going in and making sure to swipe the excess off of my sidewalls <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. You know, it's getting cold out here. Am I used to that? You know, us Louisiana people always in the heat and it's an extra cold winter. It's showing out. I'm not used to that. So, anyway, like I said, so I'm just applying. I do a three bead method usually. If I need extra, I will because I just want to make sure that I'm covering my whole nail so it's going to last and I want to build a good apex. So, I usually start in the middle of my nail till I try to build the apex. And then I, you know, add to the, the tip so the tip will be stronger. And then whenever I finish, I typically go in with another bead to I guess fill in the cuticle area. <laughs> Would be the best way to say that. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, well, it's it's real early right now while I'm editing this. I just you know my dog is asleep, so this is the perfect time. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going in with that third bead and make sure your beads aren't too runny. I'm not gonna lie, my beads were a little runny in this video. Um, but whenever your beads are runny, you know, you're gonna have spillage, you're gonna have overflow, and when that happens, you need to make sure to clean your cuticle area as much as possible with your brush to get off that excess, otherwise you're gonna get lifting. And that's what we don't want. You know, you wanna build a strong nail that's gonna last you. Honestly, I don't know how long I'm going to have these on. I'm going to try <laughs> to make it to our next video, nail video, which will be in about two weeks from after this one posts. So I'm, I'm going to try. I don't guarantee because if I start making soap or something, I'm probably going to take them off or at least cut them down. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, this is, oof. This is long. Like I, I, anyway, yeah. That's completely besides the point, though, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I know I'm talking about unnecessary things. But yeah, just still applying my acrylic, making sure to swipe off that extra. Because the smoother your application process is, the less cleanup time you have, the less shaping time you have. And I chose to leave mine the shape of the actual nail itself. And then when I went in and I filed, I shaped mine a little bit, you know, like tapered the edge a little bit, you know, a little tapered square, you know. And my nails do curve down, and that's okay. Like, I like them like that. You know, like, it's always to each his own how you apply the tip, where you apply your tip. And then, of course, how long it is is also going to affect it. But you can also make it to where it isn't curved downward. Also, I have really, really small nail beds. Like, if I go to a nail shop, they won't want to do my nails this long because they say my nails can't handle this length. But... 
I've done my nails this long several times. I mean, I stopped doing it this long because I got, you know, I had another baby and it's just really easy not to do them this long with her, you know, I don't scratch her or anything. But she's getting a little older, she's not a baby anymore and these aren't sharp, so <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, I like the nail salon, I'm gonna do them this long for me because they say that, you know, my nail bed won't support it. And of course, if your nails are really, really short, I would start off short and, you know, gradually as your nail grows out build it up i personally don't <laughs> i don't wait if i want to do my nails like this i'm going to do it but then again i'm not doing any like really hard labor i clean up take care of kids cook clean you know like that type of thing i'm not lifting anything i'm not going to work right now currently so i'm basically at home so my nails aren't really at risk of me of course, they're always at risk of me hitting them, but, you know, like, it's lower than, like, if I was out going to work and failed the cashier and I had to stop things, you know, it's, like, less of a risk. So just keep that in mind when you're doing yourself. So always, always, always support your nail while you're filing it. Rather it be you holding it, resting it alongside of your finger, because it hurts if you move it, you know, like, that's why you hold a crap up somebody else's nail when you do it you don't want their nail to move around it, it just doesn't doesn't feel good so you'll see me holding the nail or propping it against my finger just trying to keep it to where it isn't moving around and like I said if you would like an in-depth video on anything that I'm doing shaping applying my acrylic or anything you know just let me know you guys and I'll definitely get it to you and I I mostly learned from YouTube and I'm self-taught trial and error. I had some very, very, very ugly nails when I first started. I mean, whew, like to the point where I didn't even keep the pictures. I should have kept at least one though. So I could, you know, be like, this is how I started and this is where I am now. But I think one of my first nail videos I posted on here, you know, are pretty ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and pretty ugly but you know it's all about growth and progress and trial and error so don't give up you know if you're trying to learn so I'm just going in with a standing man because my nails really weren't my being so like I said application is the key so I'm just going in with that sanding grid and I'm just cleaning off the excess not cleaning off the excess lord <laughs> I'm buffing out my nail, <laughs> sanding my nail, you know, getting it nice and smooth. And then again, I'm going to use my hair, my hand file, hand file. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot seem to talk right in this video. I do apologize. <laughs> I promise I'm going to get better, y'all. It's been a minute since I've been here and filming and I don't plan on going anywhere. I promise I am here to stay. So, like I said, it's going to get better. <laughs> Just stick with me. I promise. I promise. So, anyway, like I said, I'm going back in with that man. I'm making sure they to get on my hand file. Making sure I have a smooth surface. You know, cleaning up my, my nail to make sure that it's a nice and smooth finish. And it's just what I want. So, also, you should go left to right and never up and down. You'll see me go up and down a few times, but it's better to go left and right so your nail can have a constant arch instead of making it flat. Also, you guys, I just want to say on a random note, I usually use a silicone mat while I do my nails. That way, it's like my, my monomer mat doesn't see through my napkin and mess up my little, because this is laminate on my nail desk because I thought it was ugly. But <laughs> I can't find it. Like, I have no clue where I put it. And sure enough, mine are messed up through. So now they just got this real ugly spike on my, my thing. And I'm so unhappy about it, you guys. I, I don't know how I'm going to fix it without having to fix everything. And I'm not happy about it. I'm just really sad. <laughs> anyway, I'm busting my nails now to make sure it's a nice and smooth for my application when I apply my polish. Oh. Guys, I got so sad while I was doing this. I wiped it up, and I was trying to dab it away so I wouldn't take off my marble. <laughs> That's just a side note, though. It's not important. <laughs> anyway, you know, just going in. And like I said, if you do somebody else's nails, make sure you change your buffers and stuff for each person. Don't use the same thing. Again, I only do my own nails, so I'm just reusing the one I used last week for my nails. And, um, yeah, the same thing with my hand file. No, my hand file. 
hit my hand file was new this week <laughs> and i got my hand file and my buffer no hand files from sally's buffers from amazon if i can find the link i will anyway this is me applying my base coat of polish this is the dnd gel base coat i actually really like dnd um it's an affordable brand so and you can have access to it if you're not professional um if i can find the site where i bought it from i'll definitely link it below um but yeah i'm just going in and applying a nice even coat a nice even thin coat of face gel <laughs> where's the heart guys <laughs> where's the heart so just going in applying an even base coat and i'm going to get to all my nails in the video today i am going to be using the perfect match i want to i think yeah this is violet check and it is the shade holographic diamond glitter so it also came with like the regular polish too as well so if you you do like doing your toes and stuff if you don't want to use gel on your toes you can always use the matching polish that it comes with and i'll take it down below if i can find it on amazon still um it might not be there anymore <laughs> but i got it off of amazon and it is so pretty like this is the true holographic holographic oh my god where's the heart <laughs> holographic nail polish that i found and i really love it like do y'all see that sparkle like it is it is gorgeous and it makes this simple lamb like really easy and i just, like oh i love glitter <laughs> i love rhinestones i love everything sparkly so this is perfect for me so if you guys watch like the other type of videos on my channel you'll know that about me <laughs> so also if you're interested in my other videos i think the way i'm going to start doing my schedule next week is i'm going to start posting twice a week well i think i'm this will be my second video this week so but i'm gonna make it so it's like either makeup or nails on monday and then like mm, crafting or blinging or whatever else or maybe like friday wednesday or friday we'll, we'll see how whichever works out better but I think those will be my two days. I'm going to give y'all content, y'all. Content. I'm here. I'm coming with it. <laughs> yeah, so just painting my nails. And I look like I can't paint. But I promise y'all, I got better. Like, I never could paint for nothing back in the day. So I just, it's better to do less strokes. Like, to accomplish covering the whole nail in, like, two or three strokes. But for me... Like I said, I'm not professional. But personally, if I do this, I can make sure I have no bubbles, <laughs> no lumps, nothing's in my polish. And then it comes out really nice and clear. And I just cure that for 60 seconds. <laughs> so, like I said, do what's easier for you. While you're learning, it's going to be hard. I'm just showing y'all my pretty sparkle. And I'm going to do a second coat of it you know a little bit more sparkle wouldn't hurt one coat would have been enough though like it, it was a really good cover if it's one coat is enough but you know i just gotta be a little extra and do two so let me know if there's any type of looks you would like for me to do from you guys i am open to ideas if you have anything you would like to see i'm here just let me know down in the comments below and i just want to say this if you made it through this video so far if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do i love you guys i'm here you know and i just want to thank you so much for watching my video i'm making it this far and we should be friends you should go follow me on social media you know my personal page and then i have a business page so you should go follow me guys i want to talk to y'all <laughs> Look at that polish though. Ooh, she's sparkly. I love it. And again, I just cured for 60 seconds. And I am going to be applying some stones now. I'm going to be using some Crystal AB in the size SS10. And I'm going to be using the DD rhinestone adhesive. And this is actually my first time using it. But I've had my nails on for a couple of days now while I'm recording this voiceover. 
and honestly it's it's holding up pretty pretty good so definitely definitely recommend it was affordable i think i only paid maybe like eight dollars for it it might have been a little bit more i might be lying to you guys but it works really really well and a little went a long way and again i just you know took a gel brush and just evened it out as i applied it to my nail so like it it really it worked really well and um so just you see me spreading it out and after i spread it out i grabbed my stones and then i used the decorative stone i got off of amazon a long time ago it was just chilling but i used these crystal ab's and i just started my design and i started at the base of my nail and then i did me like a little swirly swirl like y'all see my little swirly swirl oh y'all don't see it but y'all gonna see my little swirly swirl <laughs> So if you're watching this video and you feel like I talk too much, just let me know. I'll shut up. <laughs> just tell me in the comments down below, girl. We get it. You can stop talking so much. Give us some music or something, and we'll be straight. You don't. You ain't gotta say all that. And I'ma completely understand. Like I ain't gonna take it no type of way because I feel like I'm talking a lot, like. So <laughs> if you think I am, just let me know, and I'ma shut up. <laughs> Like, it ain't, it ain't even gonna be nothing. Like, I understand. Ooh. Hi, y'all. So, I just realized it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing because of the lighting. But you can kind of see. I apologize for that. But you'll see it after I finish applying it. I'm just going in a little swirl. Okay, so after I finish applying these stones, I am going to pop them back in my nail lamp for another 60 seconds. And then I'm going to show you guys what they look like so far. You see that? Do you see that sparkle? I'm in love with them. Like, oh, I love. And like, it's simple. It's elegant. It's glam. And it was really quick like I did. <laughs> I don't know if it's quick for y'all, but <laughs> I'm not even going to say how long it took me to do one hand. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just applying my top coat. This is the D&D gel top coat. And I know they have like two different gel top coats. Like I use the one in the gold bottle. Like is it the, I don't know, 800, I guess is the one. Is that the number? And I use the 800 base coat and the 900 top coat. Um, Like I said, if I can find their website, I'll definitely like, link the description. But even the way I'm going to put my products in the description box below. So if you're interested in buying anything I use, it'll be listed there. So after curing for 60 seconds, you'll see me applying the nail oil. This is my personal nail oil. I made it myself and it is available. You know, I sell it or whatever, but mm. anyway, so I apply my nail oil and I'm just rubbing it into my skin. You know, cuticles always need a little love. I don't use it like I should though, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't take care of my fingers. And here's the finished product, this simple glam look. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.